In Money Watch, there's only a few weeks left to file your taxes, and we're taking a look at how small businesses can better organize their expenses ahead of this year's deadline. And if tax season wasn't stressful enough, it is also the first year the Trump administration's new tax law is in effect, the most significant change to the U.S. tax code in 30 years. For more on how small businesses can best understand how those changes impact them, we're joined by tax attorney and CPA Selva Ozelli. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. So, Selva, walk us through how this new tax law has changed things for businesses because we've talked a lot about consumers. Sure. So for businesses um, in general the biggest change is the rate cut. The corporate tax rates for corporations themselves went from 35 percent to 21 percent. That's a, a great reduction. Mm -hmm. It should help uh, businesses very much. Um, large businesses particularly uh, shifted a lot of their operations offshore where taxes could be lower and that incentive now will be removed with this rate cut so therefore um, businesses will not be inclined to let's say shift their intellectual property or jobs offshore just because the rates are lower mm -hmm. in other jurisdictions so that's a that's, That's very significant. Yes. And in regards to small businesses, which are not structured typically as corporations, but more like partnerships or um, limited liability companies or S corporations, uh, for that there was also a benefit of uh, a 20 percent expense deduction. So let's talk about that because um, that's one of the things that small businesses are going to have to figure out, their write-offs. What's, what's an expense versus what's a personal luxury? Can you give us some examples? Sure. So the IRS is actually um, uh, very lenient in regards to the deductions that you can take so long as they are business oriented, right? But there are some uh, deductions that are no-nos, for okay. example. So the, the no-no ones would be, for example, gifts. So you're, you're limited to $25 per customer, but you can't really deduct more than that per mm. customer. Or um, let's say outfits, right? Mm -hmm. um, you could deduct uh, if, if you have a uniform or if you have to wear protective gear specific to your job. Right. What, what if you have to w wear a fine custom made suit? Or is that a little or iffy? Or a custom-made dress <laughs> no. or that you use to appear I, on I television. I only did this because <laughs> as a businessman, when right. you're in the business world, yes. you had many fine custom-made suits. I did. Yeah. Now I'm a poor journalist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or if you have to because you're a, a tax accountant or a, a exactly. lawyer, you have to wear these. Right. Exactly. There you go. Exactly. Can you write those off? <laughs> or does it have to be a uniform? It, it has to be okay. a uniform. Really? Yeah, yeah, I can't argue specific. that the suit is a uniform? Yeah, I think maybe you should. <laughs> like yeah, you do it. Tell me how it goes. <laughs> That's what I say. Yeah, right. So um, it, it's, you've also, it's interesting, you advise small businesses that uh, they should track their finances using the cloud. The cloud is a very good idea. It's a cost saver right, in many ways. Um, to, to set up an IT department is extremely costly, whereas if you... Um, enroll in a cloud system you just pay as you go mm. there is automatic updates to the technology uh, you can share documents uh, there is protection against hacking and all that security wise so it's a uh, it's a it's a great um, service to utilize for small businesses right. really interesting good advice Asava Ozeli thank you so much thank you